Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today I have this MI Smart Clock Smart Sound on display. With Google Assistant set up a good morning routine to keep track of the weather, your calendar, commute info and news. You can play your favorite music, broadcast or radio show from YouTube Music or Spotify and also works with Chromecast so you can stream your favorite shows, movies or music on your TV or speakers using only your voice. You can just say, OK Google, set an alarm, get answers, ask a funny questions and have fun with Google. Check the weather, play music, turn on your air purifier, your AC unit, your plugs or turn off the lights. Control all your smart devices without having to lift a finger. And you can connect your Xiaomi MI Smart Camera to see what the camera is recording directly on the clock screen. Always with a new look, choose the clock face designs and customize the color to suit your taste and the smart clock will always feel brand new. Well guys, nice all that, let's open to see what we have inside, set up to my network and find out how it works. And of course inside we're gonna find out the manual, if you want to read it is your choice, but stay with me, you're gonna find out all about this product. More instructions, another box, nothing else. Nice, beautiful. And of course the power adapter, Power adapter, it is 5V, 2A, 10W power consumption. And I can see it is a micro USB. The length it is about 1 meter. Nice. And there is the beauty. Wow. It's quite heavy. I like it. At the back, we have the micro USB for connection, the power cord rubber at the bottom definitely it will stay very well at any surface nice around we've got ventilation and the speaker we have a full range of speaker the display it is 3.97 inch and we have some buttons here two microphones the microphone disable enable button the volume up and volume down button and if you're gonna hold both of the buttons together, you can reset the device at factory settings. Well, nice of that. Let's plug it in, turn it on, and find out how it works. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, I will do that. Okay, there it is, the Google Home. Add the device. Set up a device. New device. Next. Allow. Next. Am I smart clock found? Yes. See the code on your clock, correct, yes. Help improve my smart clock, no thanks. Or if you want, you can just tap yes. My room, living room, next. And you need to choose a 2.4 year head Wi-Fi network, next. Enter your Wi-Fi password, connect. It seems it needs to update the device. Confirm your preference. Voice match, personal results, duo calling, I don't need that. You can set up like new or confirm. I already have uh, my Google Assistant already installed it at my account. Confirm, that's why I don't need to set up like new again. Confirm. Default music service, for now it is Spotify, you can choose uh, YouTube Music or Apple Music. Next. Control your Chromecast devices, Android. Next or skip. 
choose a location for your Android TV, it is living room, next, you can add the household contacts, if you want add the contacts here or next. Almost finished it, here's a view of what you have set up, devices, services and Wi-Fi, continue. And we need to wait until it will finish the upgrade. Living room clock is ready, continue. Just start by saying OK Google. OK Google. Notice about your device, Xiaomi may collect information. OK, continue. And there we have in the clock. OK Google. Press and hold to customize clock face. OK. You can choose weather, clouds, Retro, Eclipse, Contemporary, Prime, Timeless, Modernist, Mono, Futurist Photos, Google Photos, and more. Okay, well, let's uh, try this. Swipe for more. Set an alarm. Set, repeat off, default, sunrise alarm, good morning routines, you can choose if you want, check and check, and done. And there is the alarm. You can increase the sound, decrease the sound. Nice, I like that sound. And the volume, I think it's very good. You can have it at your bedside table and just press snooze. And again, setting alarm and timer volume, snooze length, decreasing, increasing, maximum alarm time, 10 minutes, you can choose. Alarm tone, default. Done. You can just slide. Mostly sunny, the temperature. Swipe from left edge to go back. Okay, thank you. Remaining snooze time, you can just tap. Disable the alarm. Nice. The weather. And here you can see swipe down for shortcuts to alarms, routines, lights and more. Okay. Alarm again. You can set the alarm. Nap timer. Sure, a 20 minute timer called nap. And that's starting now. <laughs> okay, thank you, Google. You can delete. Play a music. Sure, music on Spotify. Here you go. You can play music from Spotify. And pause. I'm sorry I can't play in this song, it is a copyright. <laughs> night light. You've turned on night light, you can adjust brightness and more in system settings. Done. Turn off night light. Okay, what else? Living room lights, you can just uh, switch them on. Oh, <laughs> and I can turn on my lights off 
and by just sliding up, turn on do not disturb, turn off, or the volume, you can adjust the volume. And of course the volume you can adjust it and from the buttons or by just tapping the touch screen. Up. And we have the brightness at maximum. Automatic brightness on or off and you can adjust with your fingers. Perfect. Settings. Clock face, you can adjust, I'll show you that. Display settings. During low light, show mono clock face, show current clock face, turn off screen, you can choose. Night light, customize your night light, color, the brightness, the direction. And done. And again, settings, network, you can choose the network, about the device, send feedback. Some of the settings you can have at your MI smart clock, but most of them you can adjust them from your smartphone. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. What happened when the geese fell down the stairs? They all got goosebumps. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Thank you for your assistance. And now I want to ask you something for our planet. How many is the population of planet Earth? In 2020, the population of Earth was 7,752,840,547. Wow, so many. Okay, Google. Turn off uh, YouTube lights. Okay, turning off two lights. Or you can just tap and turn on again. Okay, Google. How are you today? I'm fine. You're very kind to ask, especially in these tempestuous times. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Good. And you can go at your smartphone, living room clock, you can adjust the volume, you can go at the settings, device information, device name, you can change the device name, you can change the home, uh, the placement, you can forget your Wi-Fi and reinstall, time format, open source license, technical information, let's go back. Recognition and sharing, link into my account, let's other control your cast media, send information and crash reports to Google, Google Assistant settings, personal results, enable disable, how personal results appear, show or never show, back, voice match, device that you add later you can enable that, and now it is my voice on living room clock and living room display, on to Google Assistant. Teach your assistant your voice again. Remove voice if you want. Let's go back. Notification and digital well-being. Night mode. Enable. And here you can change the brightness. LED brightness at night. The volume. Choose the time from to the days of the week and all that. Disable for now, do not disturb, enable, disable. YouTube settings, use restricted mode, you can restrict for me, when someone isn't recognize it, autoplay next video, turn off for me, turn off when someone isn't recognize it, filter contact for uh, YouTube TV, filter for me, okay. Let's go back, display, you can choose default uh, TV, Samsung TV, Android TV, or living room display, Android TV for me. Let's go back again, audio, default music speaker, you can choose the living room clock, Samsung TV, Android TV, or living room display. It depends what devices you have at your home. Alarm and timers, you can adjust the volume, add, delete, alarm, 
Or you can just say, okay Google, adjust the new alarm. Okay, for when? Tomorrow, nine o'clock at the morning. You got it. Your alarm set for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thank you. And let's go back. Groups, no groups. Group delay corrections. Living room clock. Okay, you can adjust that. Paired Bluetooth devices, you can enable that. Perfect. And now I can go on my Bluetooth settings on my smartphone. And there it is, living room clock. Pairing. Pair. Nice. You can adjust my volume from my smartphone at the clock. And now I can listen to music just to check the sound from the speakers. Volume maximum. Perfect. And there it is, Samsung Galaxy S20 Fi 5G was connected on the MI Smart Clock. And that's how you can listen your favorite music from your smartphone to your MI Smart Clock. Let's go back. Google Assistant, lower volume when listening. Sensitivity for the Hey Google. From least sensitive to most sensitive. Adjust more devices if you want. Okay. Accessibility, play start sound if you want, play end sound, audio descriptions, screen reader, color correction if you want, there it is, magnify screen, close it captioning, okay, many things to adjust in here, from the font, background, window, all that. Experimental option, high contrast text, there it is, enable, disable. Or you can remove the device, nice. You can turn on your AC unit, okay Google, turn on AC unit, living room. All right, turning AC living room on. Okay Google, turn on LG TV. All right, turning the LG TV on. Okay, or turn off LG TV. You can say or just tap here. And turns off the LG TV. So many that you can do by voice, control all your smart devices at your home. Okay, Google, play Tech Guru Andrew video on Android TV. Sure, playing Tech Guru Andrew videos from YouTube on Android TV. And he just turned on my TV and now playing my videos on my TV from YouTube. Okay, okay, Google. Stop playing video. And of course, you can do that on any display at your home at the same network. And of course, you can... The mic is muted. The mic's back on. And of course, you can stream any Xiaomi camera at this MI Smart Clock display. Play what is recording. Okay, Google. Play living room camera at the living room clock. All right, streaming the living room camera on living room clock. And I have notification at my smartphone. Cool. 
Okay, there is a picture. We can see my living room and it's streaming live. It has a delay. It's trying to play, okay. We can see my living room. Some delay. <laughs> streaming live. It has a delay. It's trying to play, okay. Perfect. If you choose to okay. have uh, your uh, Xiaomi camera at your uh, MI Smart Clock display, streaming live, well, you can do that. Unfortunately, there is a delay. Yep, correct. We have delay. <laughs> but no worries. It can do in that. Unfortunately, there is a delay. Well, guys, that was all about this MI Smart Clock with a display. What are you saying? Do you like this product? You want to buy it? You want that kind of product? Well, just leave down below to the comments your thoughts. For me, I think it's worth the 35 euros. It is a value of money, very good price for the things that it can do. Control my smart devices at my home with my voice and with a Google Home app, you can do many things. You can stream your videos on your smart TV. You can stream your music listen Spotify music, from YouTube music, even from Netflix, it depends uh, what app you have installed on your smartphone. I like that you can stream your smart cameras from Xiaomi at this display. It has a small delay, but you can do it that. And you can even upload to the Google Drive your photos and have it at this display like an album. Nice, I like it. And with all that guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It takes only one second. Press the subscribe button and done. Share this video. You never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.